Good morning. Today I want to give you an update on the condition of our friend and colleague, Detective Chief Inspector John Caldwell. Having ha he's had surgery overnight and he remains in a critical condition. Clearly, as an organisation, we are utterly shocked and angered by last night's brazen and calculated attack. John is a father, husband and colleague and a valued and active member of his local community. Deputy Chief Constable Mark Hamilton visits the family in hospital overnight to offer them our support at this most difficult time. We will continue to provide all the necessary assistance to John's family and colleagues as we navigate the difficult days ahead. John has been a valued police officer for 26 years, committed to public service as a senior investigating officer, supporting victims and their families in bringing offenders to justice. John is held in the highest esteem within our organisation. He is a credit to his family and to the police service. And of course, our thoughts are with John and his family as he fights for his life in hospital today. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the members of the public and the emergency services who worked so hard last night to save John's life. John's colleagues are understandably extremely distressed by last night's shooting. However, they remain resolute and committed to bringing those responsible for this heinous crime to justice. I also welcome the cross-party political condemnation of last night's attack. However, it is tragic and sad that there are still some who wish to drag us back to the past. I have also received numerous messages of support from colleagues, partners and politicians, as well as the public, who are all united in their support for policing. I and my colleagues are grateful for their strength of the condemnation of this awful attack. So before ACC McEwen and myself take questions, I would also like to confirm that in this fast-paced investigation, this morning we have arrested three men aged 38, 45 and 47 in Omer and Coal Island in connection with John's attempted murder. They are currently being questioned by detectives at Mosgrave Seriously.